Well, hi everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is Julia with ThermalWeb, and I'm back to share with you this really sweet Valentine card um, featuring our Gina K, known for the holidays and festive fall sets along with, oh, can you see that? It's so pretty. This our Unity um, heart trees, card fronts that have been foiled got some flock on here for texture and stamping. So let's get to making this card and then I'm gonna give you a little fun surprise at the end. So this one here, like I said, it uses the Unity Toner Card Fronts in Heart Trees. And I love these because there are so many cool things that you can do with these card fronts. This one I foiled and then I've colored. This one you can see has just been foiled with a beautiful Brutus von foil and it's got reds and golds and silvers in it. Isn't that stunning? Um, so many options for that as with, you know, any of our toner sheets. This one is not foiled yet. Brought that as a possible idea. So anyways, I, I'm thinking I actually might use this. I had done some steps ahead of time because let's face it, we could be here all day working on these. But for the sake of time, I did foil one ahead of time. And what that involves is simply taking your toner card front and whatever foil you like, making a sandwich, color side up, wrong side down, and putting that through your laminator. And by doing so, you can then do my favorite, the peel and reveal, and you get this gorgeous foiled background. Oh, is that not stunning? I love that. So I haven't decided if I'm going to use that or if I'm going to use this one that I had in my stash that I had done for something else, and I guess I didn't finish it out, but that's okay. So for today's project, I have done a little prep work ahead of time, and that's just die cutting, just to try to simplify some of the steps and all of these are dies that are from like i said both of the um known for the holidays as well as the festive fall and i have various other little pieces you know such as the beards and such like that but i've gone ahead and just for today's time die cut some of these because that we could be here all day just die cutting you guys know how that is i've got tree pieces hearts and feet and noses pull them all down here so everybody can see in the hats so anyways what I wanted to do is make this cute little scene on my card and I need to decide I guess I need to get it together and decide am I going to use this one it's so cute let's do it and I'm just going to give a little trim to the edge um, because I can see it's just a tiny bit longer than a typical um, A2 base so I'm going to trim that off just for proper fit on my card. Sorry, I'm doing that on the side. You guys don't need to see me trim something. Okay, so we're going to use this as our backdrop. That way I can build upon it. I think it'll work much easier. In fact, let me get these back out of the way. Okay, so like I said, I, I already die cut pieces. I love this. This one's out of our flock. That's our ruby, ruby red, pink carnation. Sorry, lost all my nails with the holidays here, packing up and putting things away. All right, so first things first is let's do a little bit of stamping. And these are the stamps from the Festival Gnome Bundle. And they are, yes, they are still available. So one thing you may not realize is that you can stamp right onto our flock. It's true. So I'm gonna do a little stamping using that sunflower stamp that doesn't have to be really a sunflower, does it? Onto this flocked circle die. And that is actually one of the tree dies from the fall set. How cute is that? And just literally stamp right onto there. Easy peasy. Get the sweet flower right onto your flock. You can also, with our flock, you can emboss it. Um, you can die cut it, obviously. Um, stamp right on it, ink it up, whatever you like. Using my Gina 
Kay Designs also tidy towel to clean that up. Okay, so there's the flower. I'm gonna peel that off and set that aside for now, just for time's sake. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna stamp one more thing. I'm gonna set that aside. And this is just a little scrap piece, which I advocate for saving all your scraps because you never know, sorry for that, what you're gonna need. This is the flower stem from that same Festa Fall set. Or it's the, pardon me, it's the stem and the leaves. Ink that up a little. And then I'm going to just stamp that right onto the blue sky flock for the leaves. And I'm not going for perfection here. I chose my oxide inks for just a softer look. Whatever you have that you like, you can use. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And for this one, we're gonna just do a little fussy trimming because there's no dye on this one and that's okay, don't need it. Grab some good scissors and just trim it right out of our flock transfer sheets, easy. I used to do a lot of paper piecing. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. In fact, I used to design for a company a long time ago and that's all we did was paper piecing. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I love that cutting, trimming, designing. It's just relaxing. I clean my finger off or I'm gonna have ink on everything, which I did that the other day. Okay, so I've got the stem, I've got the stamped flower. And these, how cute is that? I'm just gonna use, I think a little of our Ultra Bond, which it's oh happy to see me today. Look at that. We're gonna take a little of that off there too, just so I don't have a big huge cloud. And it'll dry clear. So I'm gonna bring this up just a little so that I don't get it all over everything on my table. I probably should trim that stem just a tiny bit longer. That's okay. We're just gonna set it right on there and let it be for right now. In fact, I'm gonna flip it over so that it doesn't get on the table and then catch on everything else because you know how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna let that flower sit for a minute and then let's go to work on making our cute little Valentine gnome. He's adorable. So I use some uh, assorted papers that I had already on hand. Um, these are, I think, a mix of my fave Simple Stories and I think there might be a Pebbles paper or two in there. I always, if I get a little extra on there, I always just kind of rub it off so that I'm not wasting that adhesive. So I'm gonna glue beard and hat, glue that down right on here. And then he has a nose and I do have tweezers, but for today, I'm just gonna use good old fingers cause they're still functioning even with no nails. And then just place that cute little nose down Give it a little turn. And then tiny little feet. Grab those little feet. I'm gonna get those on there too. A little of our, I should have said, using our liquid adhesive. Try not to squeeze it out too much. Do you ever have days, see a little too much? You ever have days that you feel like your fingers are either not strong enough or too strong? And it never seems to correspond when you need it to be, does it? Okay, all right, and then let's see. Cute little thing that I did the other day was I trimmed this little guy out of a paper that is from Simple Stories. And that's the brilliant thing is, you know, you can look through all of your supplies and see what kind of other little things you can use to add as a as an added embellishment. This is just trimmed out of a, a sheet of paper. I thought, how cute have him hold this little valentine in his hands these tiny little things get these glued onto i'm going to try not to over squeeze some adhesive on his hands they are pretty small and it seems today i have a lot of finger power i'm over squeezing there we go a little lighter and then just add those right there and then i'm going to set that aside just so that he can, <laughs> sorry, little guy, I'm gonna move you over. 
move him over here so that he can he can dry while we do these other little pieces. Okay, so let's see. We need to do, I've already die cut out some trees. We'll leave those be. Actually, we need to put a heart on the front. And look, at I can see that there's a little extra adhesive there. And this is just a little heart that I die cut out. And I'm going to put that on right here. And put that right there as a cute little center on that flower. All that flock is just so sweet and the texture feels great. Soft and fuzzy. These are just die cut from papers. I love this. This is our little Dainty Hearts toner sheet. Die cut that out using that circle punch to make one of my trees and some more flock. That's our Rena K flock. Oh, I must have made another nose. Okay, we're going to set that nose aside. <laughs> I have an extra nose. Okay, so I also have... Some flock that's what I had down here that's our blue diamond flock it's stunning piece of printed paper this was a doodle bug I believe and then again this is our dainty hearts I also have a piece of this foiled our uh, oh gosh blooming hearts um, that's this which is beautiful as is or foiled and they make great borders so let's do that let's start to kind of build this base so and this is all just freehanded that's how I did this so I'm going to start with my blue flock and that's just a scrap that I had left over and I'm going to use my tape printer, put some of that on there and add that onto the bottom of my card. You could wavy cut it, you could use dies, whatever you prefer. And then I'm just going to trim off that and I always save all these because so many things you can still do okay so do I want to layer this I think I'm going to layer the dainty hearts and it's just a freehand cut I'm just gonna make a little kind of wavy cut kind of make it look like it's the ground no fancy trim in there and then I'm gonna put a little more tape on there and tuck that in there and actually, we're going to scoot it down just a little lower. Might need to pick this back up and then place it down. Don't you love that you have that freedom to do that with uh, with our tape runners? It's, you have a little time forgiveness there, and that is very much appreciated. So I should share that background that I mentioned is our Unity um heart trees what i did is i foiled it with some i believe that is our gold foil or champagne foil and then all, di all i did was just color in the background um, you can use watercolors you can use inks copic markers whatever you have you know go to town with it okay i think i'm going to put just a little piece of this in here so again just kind of wavy cutting a little piece off of this cute little xoxo pattern and then let's do a little more tape on there and tuck that in. And there we go. That's kind of like a little backdrop there. And I gave myself a little extra on the bottom in case I need to trim that up because I definitely didn't want to trim from the top because I don't want to lose the owl. He's too cute. Okay, so now we can start making this little colorful background with all the fun little trees tuck them in with the force. Um, on, if it's just a paper item in our flock, I use the tape runner to make a little scene, kind of balance this out. Like I said, this, that's our uh, Rena K Designs, Gina's daughter, that's her um, pop and pink. And it is super bright, but I thought it would be really fun because I didn't want to make it absolutely identical to this one. Okay, so, oh, that's so cute with that in the background and this is how it is you know how you know you play with placement where do i want this where do i want that i think i might put this one over on this side i do have a tall oval now one thing i always do which i don't know if you guys do but i like to save a piece a die cut a extra stamped whatever it is and put it on my inside of my card i like to decorate the inside of my cards just as much 
is the outsides. I think sometimes they get overlooked. Oh, that's too cute with the pink and the pink. And it just wants to tuck right in there. So there you go. It's telling me I'm happy here. I don't know that I need adhesive on the bottom there because it's going to sit in there. Oh, that's so cute. So I might end up saving this extra tree. I actually have an extra little thing here for inside. Although that does look cute there. Let's see. We're going to play with our placement. That's so fun. Could be taller too. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this, a little on that stem too. It's a little damp, so now I can see I'm gonna have pink ink on me. I'm gonna wipe that off just so it doesn't get on everything. Dry time. Okay, and let's see, do I wanna leave that tree here? Yeah, I'm going to take that out because I like this, like with him kind of in the front. So this might, I think, go in my inside of my card. Or I could tuck it over here and trim that off. Okay, we'll see. And there's a little fuzz. I'm going to get that off with my nail. And I want to put some foam, actually, on the back side to pop him up. And I'm going to use our 3D foam tape and a pair of some non-stick scissors and just cut a nice strip of foam to put on the back side of my cute gnome. Foam and gnome. And here's a little tip. Just take your nail, which thankfully I have a tiny bit of thumbnail, and press it into the side of that foam. Hold it with your, your nail. Peel that liner right off. Easy peasy. Take that off, a little fuzz, and let's place him about right there. I, of course, wore a dark shirt today, and it seems like all the fuzz just wants to stick to it. Oh, that is just too cute. And I'm not going to do this little swag on the top because I, I wanted this card to be different. I want you to be able to see that. I'm going to take this out because, you know what, I am going to save this for the center of my card. So, I mean, that's how quick and easy... This comes about, you've got your card front ready to go. You just need to put it on your A2 card base. Um, and then I wanted to give you a little peek of another idea. Like I said, save this for the inside, put it down there and put your message in there. So there's some adorable ways to use our Gina K Gnome for the Holidays and Festive Fall Kit. But look at this. You can take those same exact pieces that we just did and make a cute home decor piece for your house. This is just, I'll show you guys, this is just a frame with a message. And I've got some uh, of our Zots in there. And all I did was, you know, figure out what size I needed, cut my backer papers, uh, use some of the... Um, Use some dies that are intended for, you know, a slimline card and use that as my frame. And then there we go again, the trees, the flock, trees out of our toner sheets. In fact, it's this one right here that's been foiled. And then again, stamp the flower. That's with our flock, flock, flock card. And I inked over that. He's got a flocked hat and look, he's holding a cute little coffee cup. And that this goes right into my frame here for a sweet Valentine decor. And you might remember that I had in that frame the fall Halloween version, and I had done a fall Halloween card too. So that shows you just how versatile that fun set is. I still, and I'll have to do obviously more, Easter, Christmas, but for now, Valentine's. And like I said, the, the fall kit is still available on our website, so you can pick that up, and it comes with the stamp set that we use today. Comes with a stencil as well, so you could stencil some clouds, you can stencil on the flower centers, stars, leaves, designs onto the gnome's hats, and then it also comes with coordinating dies some more in this bag that were for the Halloween set that works so cute that I showed you. And the ones like we use today, the 
the trees and little. That might have been considered a pilgrim hat, but I didn't think so. I just thought it was a cute hat. So there you go. I hope that inspires you to think outside the box of a fall kit that works just as well for Valentine's Day. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Have fun crafting.